What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to make a church organ preset with serum and an instrument rack. Since it's so hard to find a good organ VST plug-in for less than $200 that's really not that much better if it is even better than what I'm going to show you today. So first things first, you got your MIDI track. What we're going to do is we're going to open up a bunch of instances of serum so we're just gonna start just loading this channel up with them if it'll work or if not I'll just do it one at a time so then we're gonna go over here to this second channel this is gonna be our main channel where we build everything we're going to take an instrument rack and we're gonna stick it in there and then every time we build a new instance of serum we're going to take it and stick it inside that rack so and then we're going to turn on this little option so that we'll be able to add more we'll just drop them in there okay first things first after you got that done is you're going to change the waveform to an analog um, sine wave and uh, you're going to give it four unisons right and the, um, you can play around with the detune to get it right. Take the randomizer down just so that we don't have any discrepancies. And so that's, look, that sounds pretty good already. So we open up our second oscillator. We do the same thing, same waveform. And we're going to give it four voices as well. I usually like to make the, this one a little bit tighter. So there you go. Now that's pretty good for a bass, like B-A-S-E organ sound. So first thing that we add effects wise is the chorus. Chorus is sort of the secret to making the organ sound like an organ. I usually like to bring the mix up just a tad bit and bring the rate up just a tad bit kind of gives it that organ sort of sound we can compress it too if you want um, a light compression is good for some reason with this whenever you bring the threshold knob down it actually increases the threshold so that's a little confusing but anyway there we go that's our first organ sound so we're going to, sorry, copy that, come back over, just because you can't, it kind of makes it a pain in the butt to just add serum in with the instrument rack. So I like to do them in a separate um, thing, channel first. You can go ahead and add that into our rack and solo it. And then we're going to make sure that we got its, uh... oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not. I forgot to do one thing. You got to take this octave, bring it up. Now, much better. Okay. You got to make sure that you've got the right box open. Oops. There we go. Okay, so sorry. That's how that sounds, and now these both sound exactly the same. Sorry, I'm getting confused because it's hard to open up multiple windows of this thing. Okay, so now that we are on the second analog thing, or second serum, sorry. Get my head twisted around the wrong way. First thing we're going to do is go octave up once on both of these. Right? And then what we can do here is kind of play around with the sync. Now that kind of is sounding 
little synthetic so you can go even further with it. I know that's harsh, but that's actually a pretty good organ sound right there. You can do it either way. You can even come back down and, and have it here if you want. Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's gonna, you know, you can tweak it however you want. You, maybe you want it to be more of like an electronic synth. That's how you do it. You get in the middle of like one of these waveforms. I'm gonna keep it right there, and um, everything looks pretty good. We're just gonna leave it just like that. And uh, now we have our second instance of Serum. We're going to, you're starting to see a theme here. We're gonna copy and paste and keep copying and pasting these and just working on them little bits at a time. So, now this one, up one, and up one. Now our sync. So that's pretty good for a synth, uh, for an organ sound. I think right there is pretty good, so and it sounds a little bit synthetic so I'm going to kind of bring the rate down on the chorus and up it a little bit as far as mix goes then um, I believe we have our third instance we can go ahead and drag that into the instrument rack if it'll let us and boom now we have three and I'll let you listen to what it sounds like in just a second once we get this whole thing built. But we're going to copy it, come over to our other, other channel, paste it in, up one on the octave, up one on the octave. Whew, that's pretty harsh. So we're going to. And organs do have a pretty harsh sound up top. We can we're going to tweak it, make it sure, make sure it's not like you know that bad. We can even take the level down a little bit on the higher one, so it's not so harsh. If you want it like that, like a more scooped sort of organ sound, and with that we are good that's the whole upper spectrum we are going to add one more but for now we've got the entire treble section and this is what it sounds like so far it's pretty good but it's muddy you know it's not our final product here so keep that in mind we're going to do some tweaking afterwards Anyway, we come back to our first instance of Serum. That's the top one. That's the top one in this stack here. Then we're going to copy it and paste it here. And the reason that I did the first one is so that we don't have to kind of play with this so much. We just come down one with each of these. So now we're in the sub octave, right? We're going to give it a sync mode. You hear that? How it kind of gives it that pad sound whenever you get in the middle of the waveform like that. And then that is a very organ-like sound, right? But we can go even further with it. To that organ sound so I like to take this one and kind of give it a little bit more chorus just because after this we're going to kind of dumb that down that's just our bass basically and it adds to the whole spectrum so we're gonna take that now that we're done with it drop it in with all the others and arm the track so that we can hear it and now we have a church organ few things that we're going to do afterwards like for instance we're going to take an EQ and let me get these guys out of the way 
Okay, we got our EQ. First thing we're going to do, you already know, is take that bass and tame it down. Now we're going to take our three and kind of let's decrease the bell curve a little bit. And kind of just dip down in the middle of, you know, around 1K. And uh, we'll probably open up five because, and I'll show you why basically and give it the you know front end bell curve or front end curve whenever you go up an octave it gets really grating on the ears so if you're going to go up to higher octaves you're going to want to have like something like that going on because without it here you go get ready huge difference so just to have handy in case you want to track something that's higher octave, you know. But for now, we're just going to end. I can even kind of lower it just so it's not so harsh. Okay. Now, we're going to add some unconventional, a very unexpected, oops, I don't know where I am, a very unexpected effect that you would have never guessed. That's right. Chorus all the way we're gonna kinda you can play around with the dry wet you can even add a warmth if you want it doesn't really matter then another thing I like to do and I didn't do it before or I did it before so I didn't plan this but what I'll do is insert a return track and take a good, let's see, a good um, reverb. Put that on the send or the return track. And then you got yourself a good, so I already did that, so I don't need it, but it's right here. Um, it's a pretty light reverb. You got the mix at 19, the whatever the reverb actually means, I don't know. Um, but it's pretty low to 29% and the size is pretty big to so give it that big cathedral sort of sound um, Yeah, and so we can just take that sand and kind of up it Right Not bad not bad at all and you can go even further with it than that you can create uh, another um, return track and put a chorus in here which I'm just going to use the stock chorus ensemble and then let's up that that reverb is kind of weird though oh I, I'm up in the delay that's <laughs> oops yeah machine froze voila now you've got a pretty solid organ sound what I'm now going to show you is that if you select one of these plugins you can hold shift and then select the others and then right click and group them and that way whenever you click here to save it you can have uh, you can save it as a preset and just pull that up anytime you want an organ sound without having to pay two hundred dollars for an organ sound that's probably not even this good so hopefully you like it maybe you can improve upon it I kind of just figured this out I mean I've worked on it for quite a while but I just now really figured it out and serums a really powerful instrument so if you have a serum and you have you know all of these plugins that you know basic plugins then uh, you're good to go and uh, so have good luck and have fun and thanks